testing is commonly perceived to be only about test execution, so one will not be surprised to hear when tester says, "I am doing testing other than test execution." Typical activities that need to be carried out in order to achieve test objectives would be test planning, defining test specifications, test execution, test recording, and test reporting. Let us see a little more about each of these activities. Test planning is the initial stage of testing. We plan all the testing activities, including the resource requirement in terms of human resource, training, software, tools, timelines, risk, and mitigation, etc. We will revisit this topic in detail in session five. In test specification stage, we derive our test scenarios, test conditions, and test cases from business requirements documents. We also need to combine all these artifacts using traceability, which helps us in determining requirements coverage achieved during the testing effort. It also helps us in maintainability of test deliverable in case of any changes. To a particular requirement, prioritization of test case execution will also be done at this stage, considering business risk associated with each requirement as main factor. During test execution, tester will execute all planned test cases and verify if the expected results matches with the actual results. This can be carried out manually or. Can be automated using appropriate tools based on type of testing carried out. Test recording is the process where tester documents all the test results as test log as a proof of execution. Test reports will be pulled either manually or can be automated. Test reports help in understanding the testing progress till date, or. At a frequency defined in the test plan, this will be used to evaluate the quality of the software. Testing can be considered as complete for a phase once we meet exit criteria, which is defined in test plan. Test closure report is another important deliverable to consider testing activity as complete. Again, this can be at the end of testing phase. Or at the end of entire project testing in different phases, document review is also considered as part of testing. It helps in identifying defects in the early phases of testing when executable code is not ready. Document review can help find missing or incorrect requirements, defects in the design, and even architecture of the application.